what are niyam i'll just read it for you okay so that uh, the niyam uh, is a yam niyam so niyam is actually a kind of what you can say uh, uh, ashtanga yoga it's a, it's a kind of uh, ashtanga yoga uh, limb okay it's a limb of ashtanga yoga so uh, niyam is शौच सतोष तपस्वाध्याय ईश्वर प्राणिधा नियम इट मीन क्लीनलीनेस सो क्लीनलीनेस ऑफ युअर माइंड क्लीनलीनेस ऑफ युअर बॉडी ओके बोथ सो शौच सतोष वॉट एवर दैट इज कंडीशन इज देर कीप युअर सेल्फ काम क्वाइट एंड हैपी सैटिस्फाइड कंटेटेड santosh is a contentment i'll try my best but what current condition is is the better condition best condition shauchya santosh tap it means you are always working for striving i didn't say expectation i say striving i you have to constantly working tap penance swadhyaya swadhyaya means what retrospect your own learning learn something by yourself so adhyay your own self you have to study by your own self read something and study it for yourself saucha santosh tapaswadhyay ishwar pranidhana ni nimaya here ishwar is a very different kind of meaning not like god it is like a your mind power crux inside you there is something which is a part of almighty which is residing you as a pran that is considered as ishwar okay it's a very technical definition is it has nothing to do with any religion it has nothing to do with any geography okay it is independent of geography it is connected to human body so ishwar saucha santosh tapaswadhyaya ishwar pranidhana ni niyama so these are the niyam okay one more is yam now yam will also actually cause will, will also contribute to peace of your mind what are the yam then ahinsa satya asteya brahmacharya aparigraha okay iti yama ahinsa unnecessarily don't kill something but something which you have to protect yourself then they will you will have to kill it right like plant or small small animals satya try to be truthful try to be as truthful as it, you could but of course it is also said that if somebody's life is getting saved just because of telling false it should you should consider this as a truth to say a false okay so ahinsa satya asteya but these are all yogic technique okay so not to steal anything anything even if it is a it is something which is one paisa or one rupee not to steal it whatever it is it may not affect you as well as the person who is actually losing it it may not affect you it may not affect him also but it is said that it will give you peace of mind brahmacharya it is kind of not exactly bachelor rule and goodness it is a sanctity or purity of thoughts okay thoughts and lastly it is a aparigraha this is unnecessary accumulation of garbage okay it's not said that don't accumulate anything so tomorrow you don't have any bread and butter and then no no like i said aparigraha i don't want anything today okay so not like that so these these are the yam and niyam asan i'll tell you in case of asanas you will find that when you do asan when you start your asanas your mindset will be different when you do sukshma yoga and then then you do your yoga asan your mindset will be different try this okay try this at any given point of time you will find that you will achieve a kind of enthusiasm and calmness after asanas 
द बेस्ट आसन टू कीप यूर माइंड अंडर कंट्रोल इज द ब्रह्म मुद्रा थ्री इन वज्रासन वेर वॉट यू डू यू फोल्ड यूर लेग्स फ्रॉम यूर नीस सिट डाउन इन वज्रासन दैट इज अ थंडर बोल्ड पोस्ट एंड देन कीप यूर बोथ हैंड्स टचिंग यूर बेली बटन एंड देन बेंड फॉरवर्ड एंड यू विल फाइंड दैट your thoughts will be controlled heavily okay so that can be a good asan right so these are some of the techniques uh, it is also said that uh, in yogic uh, science that utsahat sahasat dhairya tatva jnanascha nischayat jana sanga parityag shadbhair yogo prasidati it means enthusiasm it means you are courage okay your proactive actions and your constant determination that will actually bring your yoga in inside you and that will reduce your ripples of mind right so finally one thing i would like to say one very important thing half of the half of our challenges in mind we get the remedy when we come to know what exactly the challenge is if we go to root of it that is 50% resolved if we get stuck up to one level and we if we don't reach to the root of it then we are in trouble and that is what happened say for example any challenge there was a challenge that uh, the the mind i'm i'm afraid of say for example there is a ch- challenge that when we are in a close space we are afraid of close space what is the challenge here a uh, moha with our own body is excess of moha though our logical mind says nothing will occur but that that moha will be so uh, so gummy that it will stick you to your body and that causes a ripples in mind that something will occur so it will raise it will actually raise amount of fear in your mind i have got one case where the person was highly allergic highly afraid of ecg person says whenever i see that pqrs wave and he is a very good performer very good performer he okay? is very logical This person is afraid of PQRS wave. Now, there are techniques like you accept the active acceptance of whatever risk or issue is there. There is a technique like go to the root of it. There is a technique like you face it, have a habit of facing it. Ultimately, your mind will get tuned. Then there are techniques. i i won't say there are shallow shallow techniques but there are modern techniques that is <coughs> neuro linguistic programming of your uh, your your thoughts okay yogic sciences is much more deeper than the modern sciences only thing is we need to go to root of it